Wow! Okay, I am super excited about today's video. So, this is a brand new hot sauce company, or new to me at least, I'm not sure how long they've been around. Hotheads Official, okay? So, we have three different hot sauces from them, but we have three different very, very cool flavor profiles. I'm super excited to get into these. So, we have Lemon Drop Pop and Ahi Limon sauce. Before I get into it, you can see all the sauces are like all natural. Look at the separation in the bottom of this before I can get into it. This is this is a good thing. This is cool, okay? So before I shake it up, there's there's gonna be a lot going on in the sauce. Okay. Uh, hickory habanero cold smoked. There's a whole list of ingredients that have been cold smoked on this. Super excited. And then, if you've watched my channel before, you know how much I'm obsessed with mole. And this is going to have some mole vibes going on here. So we got hot chocolate. This is a cacao and reaper sauce. So I'm hoping for those mole vibes. This one is going to be freaking cool. Okay, so uh, the order is pretty pretty straight up here. So this one's going to be last. Um, the hickory habanero, which is going to be in the middle. And the um, the uh, lemon drop pop ahi limon sauce is going to go first. So um, the labels are super cool. So, you know, they're all different, you know, which I like. So doesn't it just have like the same label on all of them? Uh, very clean. So they got the cool logo. You got different text going on for each different flavor. Um, you got a little heat indicator on the side of it. So you know what you're getting yourself into. Super, super cool. Ingredients. It's got everything, every, just clean everything you need to know. So, okay. Lemon Drop Pop by Hotheads Official. Pop the top. Does it say pop the top on all of them? There's a little tagline for each one of these. This is so cool. It even says holy moly on the top. Okay, great. All right. Hot sauce. Not for you, but for us. Using the freshest ingredients, creating unique recipes and amazing flavors that we love. Let's start the Hotheads Rebellion. Is that the same thing on all of them? It's not. Okay, they're, they, they're, you're on a journey for each one of these freaking things. Okay. In all natural ingredients. I love how it just says all natural ingredients, not just ingredients. Uh, ahi, limon, pepper, white vinegar, bell pepper, sweet onion, garlic, sugar, olive oil, salt, and lemon juice. So the olive oil is what we saw kind of floating in the bottom of this. So interesting, there's olive oil going on here. Okay. So they're saying that it's right in the middle, so it's going to be like a medium heat, so mild at that end, hot on that end. So we're going to be right down the middle on it. All right, so... The pepper has like a lemony, fresh pepper flavor to it. Okay, sharpness from the vinegar, sweetness from bell peppers, and sweet onion, garlic, sugar, olive oil. So we're gonna have like a, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be pretty lemon forward with like a little like roundness and like some sweetness I'm assuming here. I'm interested to see kind of like where this goes. So, hmm. The, the, it looks beautiful. It's got this like creamy quality to it from the, the uh, Olive oil. Interesting. It doesn't. It's it, it's going more sweet. It's going more savory kind of than I thought it was going to. I was expecting to get like a lot of lemon and a lot of freshness, but it might just be aroma. I feel like I'm going to be tasting a lot of lemon. Man, it smells so fresh. Wow. All right, I'm picking up like the bell peppers. I'm picking up the onions. All right, let's see how it kind of pours. Uh, medium to thin bodied. It's got like a creamy look to it almost. I don't see a ton floating in it. Or everything I see floating in it is the exact same color. So there's a lot of care taken to the color clearly of this. Um, I do see things uh, floating, but it's all kind of like being covered up by the fact there's olive oil in it. And I shook it. And so um, it's all, I've created like an emulsion basically. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Oh, God. Ooh. Bright, tangy. Um, this has got, like, Verde vibes happening. Like, something you get, like, a really, really good, like, like, Verde. This is a play on, like, a like a yellow Verde instead of a green Verde. But you're not doing it with tomatillos. You're not going with tomatoes. Um, but this has a lot of the flavor profiles going on in it. So you're getting that tang from the vinegar. And... It has this like super brightness from the from the uh, uh, from the from the uh, the peppers, and um, the garlic is coming in just like at the at the back end of it, um, and then there's um, 
a little bit of added body from the olive oil in here. This is a great sauce. Um, I would say I would say pretty mild. I'm gonna put this on like the the mild side of medium. Um, uh, on a heat scale for me, I'm gonna put this at like a two, like a two out of ten. Like there is some heat going on, but it's extremely mild in my opinion. Um, but most people might, might call it like kind of like a, a medium, you know, medium to mild sauce. Um, beautiful. It's bright. It's um, it's well made. A lot of times there's like some hard dish from, harshness from the vinegar that is not here. It's um, it's got some it's got the brightness from the white vinegar. Um, I'm adding this on top of anything. Um, it's got like that acid. So you need uh, the, like the kind of what, what's that book? Salt, acid, heat. Um, very popular cookbook. Um, this has that acid. So um, I would be using this. So anything that has like a lot of fat in it. Um, I would be adding this to, so fatty cuts of beef, pork, um, things like that would be really good. Uh, it would combat things that have like a lot of like smoky qualities to it. Um, I can see this getting like Mediterranean vibe. I can see this with like hummus and and um, and some baba ganoush and going on. I can I can see a lot happening with this. This is a wonderful sauce. Wow. Okay, I am very excited to see where this journey takes us. So I'll set that over to the side. Moving on down. Freaking hickory habanero cold smoked ingredients. So, if you're not familiar with cold smoking, um, if you're smoking it cold, it's kind of a, kind of hard to do because you got it because when you, the creation of smoke, generally speaking, is creation of heat, and so you're imparting the smoke without adding heat to it and cooking the peppers, cooking the food. Um, people use it for cheese a lot. So I'm interested to see how this is done. Okay, so. Hotheads official has teamed up with Smoke and Pickles Artisanal Butcher Shop. Oh, I love this. Uh, to create this hickory smoked habanero hot sauce combining our culinary blend of hot peppers, spices, and their hickory cold smoked ingredients. This is going to be great. This sauce features smoky, sweet, rich umami flavors blended to perfection with just the right amount of heat in every drop. The everyday sauce was cold smoked table sauce. Yes. So they're calling this a medium at the same time. Uh, all natural ingredients. Um, there's a there's a CS next to the cold smoke to nail it. So cold smoked red bell peppers, apple cider vinegar, cold smoked our orange habanero, sweet onion, tomato paste, garlic, maple syrup, cold smoked kosher salt, olive oil, ancho chili powder, sugar, and anchovies. Wow. I am excited about the anchovies. They're there for that umami. Man, okay. There's a couple companies out there that are doing a really good uh, smoked habanero, and I'm hoping this is going to live up to those. Oh, it looks like it's going to have some more body to it, which I'm kind of excited. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Wow! Aroma bomb. Umami aroma. Um, wow, smoke. Um, super savory. You know, just crazy uh, savory, creamy qualities to it. I think I'm gonna really like this sauce. Um, I say medium to full-bodied from this sauce. Beautifully vibrant. This is a beautiful sauce. Um, it has like the like the qualities and thickness of like a, a really well-made like tomato sauce with black pepper. Or this is gonna be smoked ingredients probably. Maybe some ancho chili powder that I'm seeing floating in there as a black flex. Um, absolutely beautiful sauce. Okay, super excited for this one. Cheers. Delicious. I'm very excited about this company. I need to learn more. Okay. Wow. Okay, real deal habanero heat. So. I like that because a lot of time with habaneros, habanero sauces don't have the heat, the true heat of a habanero. This has got some true habanero heat, which I really appreciate. Um, so they're saying that this is three out of five flames on their scale, same as the uh, the first sauce. This is hotter than the first sauce. So the first sauce, I think, is, is they should put, make it like a two flame, and this should be a three flame. This is definitely much hotter. Um, it's going to hit like a three on my scale. Um, definitely true habanero heat. It's got um, on my, my tongue wings, kind of the tip of my tongue. It's got that kind of like stingy pain to it. Um, monstrous umami vibes going on here. Um, smoky, tomatoey. You got some um, some some vinegar happening at the same time, but vinegar in a good way, mature vinegar, subtle vinegar. Um, 
Uh, these so far, these both of these sauces are 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 made very well. Absolutely delicious. This is uh, a perfect example of a cool twist on a everyday table sauce. So, you know, you got the you got the heat, you got the tomatoes, you got the vinegar vibes going on. You know, like standard table red sauce situation. But then you got the cold smoke going on, and the smoke is there, but it's not it doesn't have like the artificialness of liquid smoke, which I've I talked about a lot of times, which I really don't like that artificialness to it, but this is not that. Um, really, really good. Okay, moving on. Third and final, Holy Mole, Hothead's official hot chocolate cacao and reaper. This is why I'm here. This is going to be amazing, I'm hoping. Okay, I didn't even look at the ingredients in this. I'm, I'm basing this sheerly off, of, off the, the label. Okay. Um, okay, the same tagline. So, hot sauce, not for you, but for us. Using the same fresh ingredients, for you, creating unique recipes, amazing flavors we love. Let's start the Hot Heads Rebellion. So, uh, same label as the first one. The second one had, because it had a cool story, because they teamed up with a um, local, what is it, a smoker? Local, a butcher shop. Because they teamed up with a but they teamed up with a butcher shop. So, they kind of changed the side of the label to explain that scenario. Let me get this cut off so that way I can put my knife away. Um, okay, so this is a four out of five flames. I don't think I have any sauces from him that are five out of five. Um, so, but this is, I mean, we're talking Reapers here, so we'll see how, like, we'll see how deep he goes into uh, that Reaper um, uh, heat. Uh, judging by the color of it, I don't know if there's going to be, we'll see. All natural ingredients. Sweet onion is the number one ingredient. Red bell peppers, fig. Balsamic vinegar, that's, that's one word, or one statement there. Fig balsamic vinegar, so cool. Red reaper pepper, uh, white vinegar, garlic, sugar, cacao, salt, Ceylon cinnamon, and Jamaican allspice. Oh, man. Okay. I'm always on the search for like the greatest mole, so I can tell you, just by the aroma, I've had so many moles in my life, I can tell you how I say, I'm gonna like this by the smell. Whoa. It's got like this, uh, like Jamaican jerk vibe going on. Um, really big on the uh, um, on the cinnamon and the allspice happening here. So there's like there's like like jerk chicken scenario going on. I want to put this. I want to make. I want to marry. I want to use this as a marinade and chicken immediately. Or, um, wow, it pours like molten chocolate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, full body sauce for sure. And I love the fact that it pours. Um, this is about as thick as you can possibly get before it stops pouring. It's got the, uh, it looks like uncooked brownie batter, is what this looks like. Beautiful. Okay. Anything I'm missing? I don't think so. Holy mole. Let's see. Mmm. Man, I love it. This is um so this is a sweeter mole. So it's so instead of like on the savory side, they're going on the sweeter side. Even though this is a savory sauce, so kind of getting that like that jerk chicken, that jerk sauce scenario going on. <clears throat> and the Reaper is climbing. It's not messing around with heat. It's legit hot. It's not like pepper mash hot like you're gonna get from like a full on like it's keep it keeps coming. It keeps coming. Keep coming. I love it. This would be so good as a marinade. But I don't want to use it as a marinade because you're going to be using so much of the sauce. And the bottle's not going to last. This needs to come in a bigger bottle and then need to use it as a marinade. You, you might be able to potentially cut it with something um, to stretch it a little bit almost. Um, wonderful. So immediately I'm getting like that allspice, that cinnamon, um, the sweetness like happening. And then immediately after that, I'm getting these like savory chocolate, all those mole scenario, beautiful things happening. Um, wonderful sauce. Um, this is probably one of the hottest moles I've ever had, um, which I, I love. I think it's, I'm obsessed. <laughs> like, super into it. Okay. Okay, to break it down. Hothead's official. Dear God, bringing it. Okay. 
I love this company. Okay. Um, this lemon drop pop. Wonderful, bright, mild, killer sauce. Verde vibes happening. Um, hickory habanero cold smoked. Cold smoked variation on a table sauce. Executed perfectly. Amazing. And hot chocolate cacao and reaper. Dear God. Super good. Goes towards the sweet side, which I, I, I absolutely love. But if you're a person that's really into uh, moles, then I feel like you're going to want to know like which side of the mole spectrum you're getting into. If you're going to get into that super savory, kind of like drier mole, or you're going to get into the sweeter side. And this is the sweeter side, and which is fine. I just want to clarify that that's the flavor profile that I'm getting from it, and I love it. Super, super good. Okay. Um, first time I've ever had Hot Heads Official. Very into it. Love these sauces. Wow. Okay. Good lord. All right. In the description below is going to be a link to these. Um, if these are flavor profiles that um, that are you're into, and you should be because they're awesome, uh, in the description below. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.